In this video I will show you how to make this cute baby pants. I'm using crochet needle 4.5 by Clover. 100 gram of this medium weight yarn and some leftover gray yarn and also two buttons. I will start with the board. I'm going to make 14 chain. First, first I will make a slip knot. And chain 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I'm going to start in the second chain. So skip the first chain. And this is my second chain and I'll make a single crochet, insert, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through two loops. Do the same on each chain. So insert, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through two. And this is my first row. I'm going to do this 13 times. So, this is my last, I've made 13 single crochet, and now I will chain one and turn my work. And I'm going to start in the first stitch. I will insert in the back loop and make a single crochet. So in each stitch insert only in the back loop and make a single crochet. I continue this in each row. So this is my second row. At the end of the second row, again I've made 13 single crochet and now chain one and turn my work. And in row three I will make on each stitch one single crochet and again insert in the back stitch in the back loop. So only insert on the back loop. And repeat this row until you have 70 rows. Now I have finished the board. It's 15 inch or 37 centimeter. 
And now I'm going to attach the board to the other side. I fold it together and in each stitch I will make a slip stitch. On the first stitch, one slip stitch and then go through the first stitch and through the second stitch, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop. So go through the first stitch and through the second, yarn over, pull through and through the loop. You go all the way until the end. So now I finished connecting the board and now I'm going to start with row 1. First I will chain 2, 1 and 2 and make a half double crochet on the side. I will yarn over, insert in the stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through three loops. Yarn over, insert in the next stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through three loops. Yarn over, insert, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through. You go all the way around the board and look for the stitches on the side. At the end of row 1, I've made 77 half double crochet and I will end the row with a slip stitch into the second chain of the beginning. And now I will start with row 2. I will chain 2, 1 and 2 and I will make a half double crochet in the second loop. So yarn over, insert in the back loop, pull up my yarn, yarn over and pull through three. In the second row I will increase six stitches. So I divide the six stitches in this row. Insert in the back loop only and to increase I will make two half double crochet stitches in one stitch. I will yarn over, insert in the back loop, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through and now I will make the increase. So I will make another stitch in the same stitch. And I will do this six times in this row.
at the and now I'm at the end of row two and I will close the row with a slip stitch into the second chain of the beginning and chain two one and two and I will start with row three in row three I will make one half double crochet on each stitch only insert in the back loop and in this row you will increase two stitches so one half double crochet on each stitch and in this row increase two stitches so I will make the increase this is the middle one increase on here and one increase on this side in this corners you will make two half double crochet stitches in one stitch I finished row 3 and now I will start with row 4 in row 4 I will chain 2 1 and 2 and make 1 half double crochet on each stitch and insert only in the back loop and increase on each side so on this side make 2 half double crochet and on this side two half double crochet I have finished row 4 and now I will start with row 5 in row 5 I will make a half double crochet on each stitch and I will insert in the back loop only and on the side on this side I will increase one and on this side I will also increase one ok I have finished row 5 and now I will start with row 6 in row 6 I will repeat row 5 and I will do the same in row 7 and 8 so in each row make one half double crochet on each stitch and increase at both sides one stitch now I have arrived at row 19. I've made 19 rows. I also increased two stitches in row 9. And I have now 97 stitches. And in this row I will cast off. This is how my back part looks. And I will cut my yarn. And pull it through the loop and now I will see where my middle stitch is so I will fold it so this is the middle in the middle part I will cast off eight stitches so on this stitch I will put a stitch marker one two three four five six seven eight and here I will also put a stitch marker these stitches I will crochet together therefore I will turn my work inside out and I will insert my hook through two stitches I will grab my yarn 
yarn over and pull it through two loops and now yarn over and pull through I'll make a slip stitch through eight stitches so I've made one I'm going to pull the second one so put your hook through the two stitches pull up the yarn and pull it through the two loops to the next insert grab my yarn pull it through and pull it through the loop two stitches left insert and on the last stitch where I've put the stitch marker on I will remove the stitch marker so it's a little easier insert pull through and now I will cut my yarn yarn over and pull through on this side I will also remove the stitch marker and now turn my work inside out again Now you can see you have two legs and now I'm going to cast on again to make the right leg. I will insert on the side, yarn over and pull through yarn over and make a chain and now make one more chain and I will make a half double crochet all the way around insert in the back loop only so insert and make a half double crochet So you go all the way around to make this leg. I'm at the end of this row and I'm going to finish the row with a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain two I've made 43 half double crochet stitches in this row plus this chain tool of the beginning which makes 44 stitches and now I'm going to make another row of these 43 stitches I will chain two, one and two and again only insert in the back loop
So I have finished the second row. I'm going to end the row with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And now chain two, one and two. And now I'm going to make one half double crochet front post and one half double crochet back post. And now I'm going to make one half double crochet front post, yarn over, insert in front of the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the three loops. And now one half double crochet back post, yarn over, insert behind the stitch, yarn over and pull through. So you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the three loops. And repeat this all the way around. Yarn over, insert in front of the stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through the three loops, yarn over and insert back the stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through the three loops. At the end of this row, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And now chain two, one and two. And I'm going to make another row like this. On top of this half double crochet front post. One half double crochet front post, so insert in front and make the stitch and on the half double crochet back post, one half double crochet back post. So insert behind the stitch and repeat this all the way around. I've made a second row of these front part and back part stitches and now I'm going to make two more rows. I have finished four rows of this board stitch and now I'm going to cut my yarn, yarn over, pull through and I will cast off this, this part and I will do the same with the other leg. So repeat the same rows. And now I'm going to make some suspenders. I'm on the back of my pants and I will insert in here, yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through the loop. And now I'm going to make five single crochet. Insert, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through. Two. Three. four and five and chain one and now turn my work and on each stitch make one single crochet one two, three, four, and five. 
5. And now chain one, and again I will turn my work and repeat this until your suspender is long enough. So make five single crochet on each row. I've made 44 rows and I sewed on two buttons on the front and now I'm going to make a buttonhole. I'm going to make a buttonhole. I will make in the next two stitches one single crochet, one and in the second stitch one and now chain one skip one stitch and in the next two stitches on each stitch one single crochet so one and in the last stitch also one single crochet and chain one and turn my work and now make five single crochet One, two, and on top of the chain of the previous row, one, and one, and the last one. So, this is my buttonhole, and I'm now going to cut my yarn. and pull it through the loop and I will try if my button fits my hole it fits and now we're going to make another suspender Therefore, I will insert on the back part in here, and I will do the same as on the other side. 